Hello everyone, Jonathan with Excel Bets here. College football season is officially underway. This video, I wanna give you the option for two free resources. First one, I'm gonna walk through how to use Google Sheets, which is free to everybody if you've got a Google account. And it's also mobile friendly, so what I'm showing you, you can pull up on your phone if you're watching games live to be able to pull in a college football schedule and be able to map ESPN FPI data if you wanna do some handicapping yourself, more of a bottoms up view of sports betting. I'm gonna walk you through how to set that up, what data you need and how to get that coming through your Google Sheets. I'll also provide a free download, link in the description to help you get started. And then at the end, I've got another freebie for anybody as well. So stay tuned to the end and I'll announce that. So I'm on ESPN college football schedule page here. And we've got week one, we've got all the games and matchups starting on Thursday, which is when I'm recording this. And we've got games throughout the weekend into Labor Day ending on the first. So what I'm gonna show you how to do first is how to get this data cleanly into Google Sheets. We're gonna go up to our URL bar here, highlight it, do a control C, and then you can go pull up a, a fresh Google Sheets. And you're gonna to wanna to use the function import HTML. And we're gonna open our parentheses there and copy and paste in that URL. And you do a comma. And then you're gonna to wanna to type, your query needs to be a table. And then we want a first index. So this means it's gonna bring in the first day of that schedule. And you wanna allow access to access that external data. You can adjust your column width there. And this is bringing in, if we go back here, the first table here, which was as of this recording last Saturday. So these games have all been completed. But we can repeat that exact same process, copy that. You can add some additional lines below it. And the only thing you need to change here is make that a two instead of a one. And you can see we just brought in the second table from our schedule here in ESPN.com. And that's gonna start at the Boise State at USF matchup going all the way down to the San Diego State. We can flip back here to confirm that's all coming through. This is gonna bring in our matchup, the time, the location, and then it's also gonna bring in the current spread, uh, spread line and the over under total via ESPN bet. So some sports book data there for you as well. So this gets you on a mobile device. You can quickly see the schedule, but the reality is you could get that a lot cleaner just using ESPN. But what I'm gonna show you now is how we can connect that to the football power index, the FPI ratings from ESPN. So if you're at ESPN, you navigate over to the NCAF, and then the more drop down, it's gonna give you that football power index. And this will bring up the FPI index for all of the teams stacked according to their FPI rating highest to lowest. And at the bottom it does have just a description of what the FPI is. Essentially it's how many points of above or below the average team each team is. And you can compare these. So we can take the top two teams, Texas and Georgia. This is gonna tell us that neutral site, Texas would be approximately a three point favorite to Georgia. It's got three points above the next highest FPI team, Georgia, on the FPI rating. So we're gonna do a very similar process. We're gonna go up to URL, highlight it, control C, and then we're gonna just add a new tab here. And then we're gonna do our import HTML. Open the parentheses, copy in that data. We're gonna do our table again, and then we're gonna do the first. Okay, so we brought in the names and the conferences, but we're missing all the data we need. So we've gotta do this one more time. We'll just go ahead and copy that over here to column C, and then we just need to change that from a one to a two. So bring in the second table, and that all aligns perfectly. Scroll down, and we now have a complete FPI table. So we can just go confirm. We've got that Texas Longhorns at a 24.5 rating. That's exactly what we're seeing here. 
So this is if you wanna just be able to have this on your phone quickly, we now have a schedule data here, and now we've got our FPI information as well. Going to rename that to FPI. And the next thing we can do is you can try to connect these two together. And I've got this for a free download. If you want to be able to map the FPI team names to the scheduled team names, because unfortunately ESPN uh, makes it a little bit more difficult. And you can see it's got Ohio and Rutgers, and it doesn't bring in some of the mascot information that we will see over here. You get the BYU Cougars, and then over here, you're gonna just see BYU coming up. So it just has the, the actual university name and it doesn't have the mascot. So we've got to do some matching if you want to try to connect those two. But I've got that so you can do a quick look up on the schedule team name to look up what the corresponding FPI name was so you can bring in your FPI data. And I can just show you how to do that quickly here. Grab our matchup. It's going to autofill that. And you can see it's going to bring in this at and then some spaces. So what you can do is go mid, want this, E12, starting at, let's try three, and then we're going to go length of E12 minus three. Let's do that to four. So we bring in, eliminate that first four cells there and that'll bring us in and let's go ahead and put the trim function around that just to make sure we're not getting any leading or trailing spaces. So that should get you pretty well set. Now some of the rank teams it requires a little bit more complicated formula but you could take that and just remove the numbers there. And then if we want to do a B look up here on Boise State, grab that information that I'm going to have for you for free. Boise State Broncos, the same information over here. And then if we want to bring in we look up the Boise State Broncos. And we're going to go here to our FBI data now. Highlight that. Seven point two for Boise State, and minus one point eight for South Florida. So this is the FBI. FBI home. FPI away. Let's go back here. Let's find that Boise State. We've got our 7.2 and then South Florida minus 1.8. So we've got the 7.2 and the minus 1.8. And this is where you can clean it up as much as you like. But I want to at least give you everybody the option to be able to pull in the schedule via the import HTML function make it a table, and then you can add one, two, three, based on the number of schedule tables that are coming through each week on ESPN. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six, which would be the, the most you'd have all season. And then you go over to the more, drop down, select that football power index, grab that URL, put it into a Google Sheets, table and then table one to get all your teams and conferences and then to get the actual data you pull on that second table to get your FPI information as well and like I said I've got this download that I'm going to give you link in the description if you want to be able to connect those without having to manually go through and clean up all the the teams I've done that for you and you can track what I what I did here um, and play around with to remove the the at and then the, the leading spaces, if you want to do that, do your lookups off the teams, get your FPI data, and then you compare those two 
and say that whatever home field advantage factor you want to put on that matchup and say that we've got a nine nine point spread difference between Boise State and South Florida and then if we say that South Florida gets about a three point advantage at home then you're looking at about a six point favorite for Boise State on the South Florida Boise State game and you can see ESPN bet has that at minus five and a half so if we just doing quick math on the FPI we're saying that's closer to a six point favorite for Boise State might be a pot potential bet for you to look at if you're doing some bottom up handicapping so hopefully that's helpful for everybody and gives you just another option of being able to play around with some Google Sheets which is free platform give you some free ways of pulling in some data from ESPN consolidate that and be able to make some more informed bets as part of your sports betting toolkit and this is the piece where hopefully you've watched it up to this point if you like and make a comment on the video when we wrap up our first week of college football slate on Monday night I'm gonna look and see randomly select one person who commented and I will give you let me go to pull up my my site here excelbets.com go over here to football got a lot of different models available but I will give somebody this free FPI model one person who liked and commented and subscribed to the channel and this is what the model looks like so everything I just kind of walked through some of that cleaning up of data I've done here made it in a nice easy format we've got the time we've got the matchup home and away bringing in the FPI rank their FPI data their offense and defensive efficiency home field advantage FPI difference we just talked through this one nine point spread and then we could give South Florida three points on home field makes that a minus six plus six spread then I'm also going to drive up points and a score projected win percentage and break even on so this is kind of my take on the ESPN FPI data pulling in all that week one information there's no updates that are needed this is all 100% with those couple simple import HTML codes that I showed you just consolidate it making it nice and clean so give this away for free to somebody who likes and comments on the video if you you're not one of the lucky people or you want to pick it up the four week one kicks off um, go to excelbets.com I've redone my whole website hopefully if you've been to it in the past it looks a little bit better now check out some of the football models I have especially college football get you started on week one and if you're looking for a subscription platform definitely check out game day math I've got some information here and if you've got any questions about any of that please do comment I will get back to you otherwise have a great sports betting week end for week one of college football. Thank you for watching and God bless.